want to do. And, and our God, people, our God is not distant. Our God is present. He is involved. He loves you so much, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for you. He has risen from the grave. He's conquered death so that you can have life. And he wants to be with you. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. His presence is with you no matter where we go. But the heart of the issue, the heart of the issue for, Bar for Jeroboam is that he just thinks it's people. He just thinks he can kind of do, do what he wants to do. And this is the reality of Jeroboam. He wants his own way, right? He wants the positive result. He wants to be told that his son is going to be okay. He wants his own, own way, but he is unwilling to pay. And it's not money. I'm not talking about money here. I'm just talking about a broken heart. I'm talking about repentance. I'm talking about confession. I'm talking about surrendered. I'm talking about a life lived for God. Right? He wants his own way, but is unwilling to pay. He, he wants a positive result for his son, but is unwilling to come to the Lord, repentant, confess, acknowledge that he is God. Instead, he thinks he can manipulate it. People, that's the heart of deception. We want our own way and we're unwilling to pay. You know what I'm saying? Right? And, and this is just, this is just like throughout, throughout our culture. All right, let me, let me just kind of share with you things. Think, think about this. In the, in the American mindset, we want our way without the pay. We want the easy life without working. How many of you like that? Right? You want the beautiful, and who wants to work? Right? All right, so we want, the, we, want the, we want the easy life without the work. We want healthy bodies without working out. Anybody with me on that? Yeah, you know what I mean? Give me a healthy body, baby. Like, just give me a healthy body. I don't want to work out a blasted lick. You know what I mean? Just give me the great result, right? You guys with me? Okay, that's the total American mindset. That's what we want to do, right? Okay, we want our bank accounts full without having to go to work. We want to retire early, but we don't want to save. We want to be a black belt in karate without going to practice. That's my, that's my deal. Remember Jason Bourne? I want to be Jason Bourne without... Okay, sorry, I just had to keep... Okay, we want to have really good friends without being a good friend. Right? Okay? We, we, we want to date somebody who we will respect, yet we don't respect other people. We, we want a healthy marriage without dating our spouse. Right? We, we want a strong family unit. Right? But we're unwilling to spend time with one another. Y I mean, you get what I'm saying? You see that? We, 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 want, we, want, we want our way, but without the pay. Can we say that together? I just love it. We want our way. That's pretty sweet, right? We want our way without the pay. That's like the deal. Okay, and I'm not talking about money. I'm just talking about a surrendered, surrendered life. And you know what? It's just like our walk with God. Think about our relationship with God. We want to know the Word of God without reading it, right? Every, I mean, who wants to know the Word of God? Okay, yeah, look at that. Okay, y'all want to know the Word of God? Okay, are you reading it? Okay. Okay, we want to share our faith. I think if I talk with every one of you, you're like, yeah, I would love to see someone come to Christ, but we're unwilling to do it. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. We want our way, but un, un, unwilling to pay. We want to grow deeper in our faith without a daily time with God. Right, we want the intimacy with God Without being, right, but, okay. We want to be challenged and encouraged by our friends, but unwilling to get involved in a small group or get out of our homes, right? We want accountability to keep up our walk with God, but unwilling to share it with somebody. We want God to do what we want, but we are unwilling to pray. We want to be generous, but are unwilling to give. We want to be adventurous, but are unwilling to trust. We want to be compassionate, but are unwilling to leave our comfort. We want to be free, but are unwilling to confess, you guys get it? We want it without the pay. And that's at, that's at the heart of what it is to pretend to be somebody else. You want this life. You want all the joys of this life. But you're unwilling to kind of do the work that helps you get there. And people, you have a God who is ready and willing to come alongside of you and help you step by step to have the intimacy with him that he wants. He's actually paid the price for your sin by sending his son Jesus. He's done it. He's paid it. Stop pretending. Stop pretending.
So let's look at the con consequences here. Verses 6 to 9. So when Ahijah heard the sound of her footsteps at the door, he said, come in, wife of Jeroboam. Don't you love that? Like busted already. Busted at the door. Like that's just got, like you wonder what she would have been, was like right at that moment. Why this pretense? I have been sent to you with bad news. Who's been sent to who? Ahijah the prophet's like, I've been sent to you. I love God. I mean, it's, it's, you can't hide things. You can't hide from God. He knows all. He sees it. Go tell Jeroboam that this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. I raised you up from among the people and made you a leader over my people Israel. I tore the kingdom away from the house of David and gave it to you. But you have not been like my servant David who kept my commands and followed me with all his heart, doing only what was right in my eyes. You have done more evil than all who lived before you. You have made for yourself other gods and, and idols made of metal. You have provoked me to anger and thrust me behind your back. And verse 10, which we don't have up there, but I need to continue on with verse 10. Because of this, I am going to bring disaster on the house of Jeroboam. Disaster. This pretending to be somebody that we're not. This trying to get by just leads to disaster. It leads to disaster. The consequences for us, you will live a life completely alone because no one will actually ever know you. When you're not real, no one will really know the real you. The consequence for you is you'll continue to look back, right? I mean, when you cover up, when you deceive, what do you do? You're always like, are they going to find out? I hope they don't find out. What? You'll live a life where you'll never be free. If you don't come to this place where you're real before God and you just lay it out before Him, you'll continue to struggle. And, and as a Christian, yes, Christ has set you free. But there will still be this struggle and temptation and, and this, this, the Bible uses the word, the, this bondage until you just confess and be you and tell somebody and you'll live in fear. You'll live in fear. You'll live in fear of somebody finding out who you really are. And yet all along you have this God who absolutely loves you and who knows you already and desires to have that relationship, that relationship with you. Are we cultivating, listen to this, are we, are we cultivating a culture of authenticity in this body? Do you see what I'm saying? Are, are, are we building relationships where, where, there, where there is no judgment but encouragement and challenge and accountability. Are you as a mom and dad, are you creating a culture within your family dynamic that your kids can be real? Where, where your kids can be who they are. That they can be in high school and they mess up and you can talk to them about it. And they can come to you. Don't you want that as a parent? I mean, don't you desire that? Be his parents, right? You want to create that. You don't need perfect kids, okay? What you want to do is cultivate a relationship with your kids so they cultivate a relationship with God. That's the relationship that matters. It's their relationship with God, not you being the perfect family. That's not the goal.